Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the molecular geometry of BH3 molecule and to understand its molecular geometry we first look, need to look at its lowest structure. So this is the lowest structure of BH3 molecule in which boron atom is in the center and it is forming bonds with three hydrogen atoms over here. Now you might wonder why does boron only have six valence electrons in its outer shell but that is fine because it can do with six valence electrons to attain this structure. If you move forward and if you look at its shape, you can see that all these three hydrogen atoms are arranged um, evenly in the structure. They are arranged as far as possible from each other to avoid any repulsive forces because of bonding pairs of electrons. Now, as per VSCPR theory, molecules often acquire a shape in which these repulsive forces between bonding pairs are at minimal and this shape for BH3 resembles to trigonal planar and that might be the case. But to confirm it further, we are going to use steric number to find out if that is the right molecular geometry for this molecule. So the steric number of BH3 is 3 because there are 3 electron regions around boron atom. So the steric number is 3 and there are no lone pairs on this uh, central atom. And hence this, uh, tri this geometry is known as trigonal planar. And it is quite evident as well. If you look at its structure in 3D, you can get to know that the structure is trigonal planar. The molecular geometry is trigonal planar. And that is the case in most of the molecules in which a central atom is forming bonds with three atoms at a time and it has no lone pairs. So you can either use a steric number or you can uh, use the AXN notation method to find out molecular geometry of any given molecule. I hope this video helps you to understand that. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching